Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Muffet. Guys, in this video, we're going to be doing a little experiment making a kitchen sink or a water faucet vacuum pump just for fun to see how it'll work. And uh, when I finished, I put it onto my blender. Uh, if you go to the end of the video, I'll show you some alternatives to using a water faucet uh, kitchen sink vacuum if you're trying to put a vacuum on your blender for health reasons. I'll show you a couple of things you could buy on Amazon, be a lot simpler and uh, save you a lot of time. But this is this video is basically just how to use a uh, kitchen sink to pull a vacuum. Like I said, if you're wanting to put a vacuum onto your blender, if you go to the end of the video, I'll show you some stuff you can get on Amazon, help you out, even if you have a Nutribullet or a, uh, a Vitamix like I do. So let's get started. Uh, I should give a shout out to a little book I bought. I kind of got the idea for the vacuum pump. It's called uh, the Build It Yourself Science Laboratory. And there's some little fun things in there, little projects. And that's where I got the idea to, to pull a vacuum off of the faucet. Um, I didn't have the ability to do it like I did in the book, so this is what I came up with. I just took a cap off of a milk jug and uh, some PVC pipe and some stiff tubing and some latex tubing and use hot glue to assemble it and a uh, now use a little electric uh, tool to uh, cut the inside of the uh, milk jug cap once I cut out the parts I put them together with the hot glue and then I took some paper clips and put on the side with hot glue and use rubber bands to attach to, attach to the faucet and I put uh, the latex onto the uh, top of the Vitamix 3600. I tried several times before I did that. I put the uh, the tubing into a plastic bag and, and saw if it would uh, suck out the air to make a little vacuum. And you have to fiddle with the, the pipe to get the right amount of vacuum. And you have to have a large flow of water. It... Uh, it took some experimenting to get it to where it would work to pull a vacuum. I'm going to be ordering a, a little vacuum gauge and do some more experiments and see if I can make it a little more efficient than it, than it was. If you're wanting to purchase something to pull a vacuum on your blender, you can get a, uh, if you have the type I have, the Vitamix, you can get a little wine uh, vacuum pump that costs about 10 bucks. And then just drill a hole into your rubber plug if you happen to have a Vitamix 3600 like I do. If you have a more modern blender like uh, the uh, Nutribullet, you can purchase uh, this little gadget. It's a little vacuum you can put into the, the, the wall of the uh, Nutribullet. And if you put a hole in the bottom and install this and use a pump, you can pump out the air. And when you're done, you can just fill up the hole with a cork. Um, I'll leave the links to the little vacuum pumps you could buy for your blender and the little gadgets. Uh, also a little uh, link to that book for the science laboratory. It's got a lot of fun experiments in there. So that's how you can make a little inexpensive uh, vacuum pump off of your kitchen sink. Like I said, I'll be doing some more experiments with it, trying to get it to be more efficient. Alright guys, hope you like this video and uh, something you enjoyed. Come back and uh, watch more. Put on a lot of videos every week. Got over 500. I think I'm going to be doing some more science laboratory experiments and equipment videos. They're kind of fun for me. All right, guys. Take care and uh, see you out there.